Another chest. And I just got oh, tore a new one, man. The coach just went so bad on me. And I spent the whole game recovering. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, and it really messed me up. And I love the idea of having someone like you in my corner and really comforting me with logic and practicality. Saying, listen, it's all right. It happens. Like, do you know a player who actually got called for holding at least some point in his career? And giving people that, that frame of mind, that perspective. So that's awesome, man. So I want to hear about... At least you did that. Yeah, Considering that you only just learnt him and over a bank resi landing. Oh, I didn't know that one. I just like kicked it and just like, oh. <laughs> I just felt it just going away from me. No, I had no spare either. At least it was a good crash, got out of it, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're still on the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. goes to get it but he got it. Gotcha. I'm in fucking trouble now. What are you gonna make me do? Well, like, not well. Right, you have to pause for two seconds and come back to me and I'm gonna have something in a second. Oh! oh that yeah, dude. Did it. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened, guys. I still got the clip, but I did some weird, this gimbal thing, you have no idea how hard it is to use. Up to three, down with the box, box. Three down with the box. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. I've only done a few of these, so don't mind the sketchiness. So there we go. Sketchy film. So, I'm just on my way home right now. I'm tired as fuck. I was meant to ride today, but... 
ended up calling the pin just because I'm tired, like I have four hours sleep or something like that. And it's just not a good idea for me to go for a ride if I'm feeling like this because one, I won't have a good ride and two, it's just unsafe for, the minute for me to do that. Um, no, I just want to go into lately with I was doing brick laboring today and that is a fucking shit job I would not want to do that for a long period of time I was just doing it to fill in a blank week um, you know but fuck I would not do that for a long time like you know fuck all these people that are like ah oh, you're fucking you don't work hard you fucking uh, blah 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 fuck that like if you're doing that kind of shit, I fucking hope you're making like 30, 40, 50 bucks an hour doing that shit because when you get older, bro, your body is going to be fucked. That is not a fun, enjoyable job. It fucking sucks. I don't like it. But I had to do it this week to make some coin. Let me just check if this is actually fucking on audio. it's fucking horrible or anything but it's just like not doing the things that make like make you happy it's hard like all these people you know they get so caught up from a young age too like you know when you're when you're like 16 or 
whatever and you're told by oh you gotta go get a job you gotta go get a job you gotta go get a job you gotta go do this you gotta do that it's hard to break fucking free from that eh like it's even still stuck in my head now like oh you know that oh you're getting older you know your writing is gonna slow down blah blah blah, you know and then i've actually like started to fucking believe it i started to believe it and you know, in the past couple of years, my running did slow down, but it was no one else's fault but mine because I was just listening to dumb voices in my head or other people's opinions. So stupid. Like, yeah. yeah. I think, you know, working, doing the, you know, living in the real world has really lit a fire under my butt again to try and you know there's not really any money in BMX or anything like that but you know it's what I'm passionate about and it's what brings me happiness I mean my family and my kids and stuff bring me happiness too but it's a different kind of happiness it's a different kind of like satisfaction I get from being on my bike and and doing and setting goals and competing you just can't uh, it's hard to explain if you've never done it before you you won't re- you won't understand or you won't relate right now and then I'm gonna go for a ride I think this is gonna be my last ride before feast uh, I don't know how I'm feeling to tell you the truth been weird been weird I, I feel super like spacey in my head lately it's weird I don't like it uh, I don't feel prepared coming into this contest at all sucks but I know when it goes when it's go time it'd be different yeah, but I just yeah I gotta stay confident I know that I know I'll be right I still got a few things that I gotta sort out yeah I got told yesterday that I gotta sort, sort out some kind of medical insurance or they won't let me ride at all so I need to sort that out today hopefully it's not too fucking expensive and this episode is going to be a compiled episode of like six and seven, week six and seven, or episode six and seven, whatever. Um, just so I can kind of squeeze it in, and then the next video will be of how I've gone at, at, at the contest at Beast. Yeah. But it's been fucking one hell of a ride, I'll tell you that. I would like to. You know, my, confidence, my confidence has been up and down. It's fucking retarded. I just wish it would stay there. But that's the only reason, only way I can get my confidence to stay up is by riding a lot more. And I, it's hard to juggle all that stuff with the family and, you know, um, you know, because I, I need to have time there too. Or... 
you know, yeah, you got to keep everyone happy as well as yourself, but uh, I think, like, I've been, it's hard to, you can't just focus on yourself anymore when you got a family, which is a big adjustment, you know, I've been, what, I've had Ollie, Ollie's two years now, two and a half years, I know, I know it's hard, it's hard to have the kids full time by yourself, it's definitely, it's definitely stressful, like, so, I know, I understand that, but, yeah, it's, it's got to be done, this is, it's just got to be done, I don't want to get to an age where it can't be done anymore, I'm like, I wish I could have done that. I wish I'd done that. I don't want to look at back at shit and 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 have the regret of not doing it when I had the opportunity or when I was in a, in condition to be able to do that. Um, those windows are there. I just gotta open them up. Constant battle, constant battle with yourself. So you just gotta push. Like inside, I know what I'm capable of. But like I said in other videos, it's crazy how that little voice. Might, I don't know is if it's because your brain develops as you're getting older or what, but that shit motherfucking thing gets louder. You know? But I know, I know we will be solid. Yeah. Yesterday when I was riding, actually, I had a couple of good f crashes. And I did did a flip double whip, and I hadn't done them for like years. Like I'm talking like a good five years at least. I did one, a couple to the resi, and then one to the box, filmed it, and that's it. I haven't done one since. Oh, I did one on the big ramp. But yeah, I come in a bit weird and just slapped the shit out of my head. But I kept riding. I felt a bit out of it, but I still kept riding, and I also crashed a couple more times. I hit my head again. And, I probably should have just called it quits when I first hit it because it really like made me a bit like oh, a bit dazed, which I already was feeling a bit fucking spacey. So I reckon it could be due to this. I don't know if I'm I'm this keto diet. I might not be doing it right. Maybe I'm just eating too much protein or something. I don't think I am though. Like I'm eating enough fat. I think I am, but I'm not tracking it like properly, but... Maybe I just need to eat more meals, maybe I'm not eating enough meals, so my body's like, what are you doing? I need more energy, more food. But yeah, so I'm gonna go for a little, for a session now, it's been my last session. Um, get that confidence up a bit. And, um... Start getting psyched. I'm not start getting psyched. I mean, I already am. You've got to believe in yourself. You just really got to believe in yourself and stay confident. Stay confident. There's no reason why you should not be confident if you believe in your abilities. Like, I don't know why I feel like I'm plagued with this shit sometimes. Like, it's the questioning. I've got to question the questioning that goes on inside my head. When it's go time, it's go time. And I know that there's like a little switch and it's like, bing, all right, here we go. I'm still trying to work out my lines at, on the park. So I got a bit sorted out, you know, but it just depends when you get there, some things might change, your gaps might be bigger than what you, they look on a piece of paper or on an image. So yeah, but I'm gonna peace out. I'll check in, back in when I get to the park. Laters.